So this will be the second tutorial in our beginner to expert uh, Scala programming tutorial. And today we are going to be actually setting up Scala in IntelliJ. Set up in IntelliJ is really very, very simple. So the first thing we are going to do is simply to open IntelliJ. And this is what I've done right now. We're also going to be setting up in VS Code in case you are comfortable using VS Code. So once you open uh, Scala, simply go to new project for now you may not have this uh, scalar right here so simply use anything you have for instance if you have java simply use it and go next and go next and simply finish now why we have to do this is because we need to go to the preferences and then from there we are going to be setting up a uh, scalar for intellij so once you have a new project like this which you're actually going to delete after now uh, by the way, let me kind of just reduce this and put them side by side. So let me put this side by side with the step by step. Okay, side by side with the step by step. That's interesting. <laughs> okay, so let's now set up Scala in IntelliJ. Now we are not setting up Scala for the project. We are going to be doing that later. We are setting up Scala, installing Scala in IntelliJ. And to do that, we are simply going to go to IntelliJ and go to Preferences. And once you get to Preferences right here, and you have a step in the website as well, you can see in the, in the website, simply go to Plugins. Once you go to Plugins, you see you type in the plugin you want. In this case, we need Scala. So once you type in Scala in the plugin search, you see you have Scala right here, right? and you simply click on it and install it in this case i already have installed it as you can see right here so i don't have to repeat the process now let's try to the same thing happens in eclipse in case you are using eclipse now i'm, go, I'm not going to be going through eclipse in this case because that will be a waste of time all right the next thing i'm going to do is to try to do the same thing in intellij so let's try it uh, in in vs code so let's try to set up scala in vs code as well i think i have vs code right here setting up scala in vs code is also very very trivial so if you go to vs code in this case you simply click on extensions once you click on extensions you search for scala and that is as easy as it gets now there are a number of things you'll see here but in this case you need to simply install scala syntax the official language syntax since you already have java in your system uh, this is okay so you are good to go once you have scala installed i already have it installed and you are good to go so this is how to install scala locally on your system but assuming you don't have a system um, the application so you don't want to overload your system we also have Scala on the web, so we call this SCASTI, right? So SCASTI is available from this link. So if you go to this link, you can go to SCASTI and you can easily start writing programs. So let me show you how it works. So I'm going to click on SCASTI and you see you can simply write your function. So in this case, I can simply change it to... I don't know why this nonsense Grammarly is also showing it always showing it. okay so I'm just going to turn it off with Grammarly all right so if I if I just enter please let me just say please subscribe to my channel so I'm actually writing Scala program without having the compiler installed in my system so once you write the program you simply click on run and it takes a while to build and it took to eventually run and give you the output right here so this is basically the way you can actually set up the scala tools and start writing programs so in the next part now we actually have written our first program online but in the next part we are now going to write our first program more or less create our first scala project using an ide and that's what we are going to be doing in tutorial 3. I would like to stop here. Please remember to subscribe to my channel and also visit the website. You have all the step-by-step. -step. We are going to be following all through step-by-step um, -step and also writing all the code ourselves. And at the end of the day, we are going to be building a very interesting web application uh, that we can um, uh, upload or publish to GitHub or publish online and we can work on it together. If this has been informative for you, subscribe to my, subscribe to my channel and we we'll see you in the next part.